Hi friends, we'll solve problem on variable acceleration. Let's see what is given in problem. The motion of particle along a straight line is governed by the relation A equal to T cube minus 2T square plus 7, where acceleration A is the acceleration in meters per second square and T is the time in second. At time T equal to 1 second, the velocity of particle is 3.58 meters per second and the displacement is 9.39 meters. Calculate displacement, velocity and acceleration at t equal to 2 second. See equation of acceleration is given and what is asked in problem is displacement, velocity and acceleration. That means anyhow from equation of acceleration you have to find out equation of velocity and equation of position where this is possible using integration. A if you write and if you integrate A substituting a as what dv by dt as a is a function of time t we will substitute a in terms of time t as what dv by dt let me first step in solution if you want to start first equation of acceleration a equal to t cube minus 2t square plus 7 say this one is equation number 1 now we will substitute a as dv by dt rate of change of velocity with respect to time is acceleration which is equal to same terms t cube minus 2t square plus 7 therefore this dv equal to if we take dt term on right side what we will get here t cube minus 2t square plus 7 dt now we will integrate this equation. If we will integrate this equation, then what we will get? Integrating this equation, what we will get after integration? Say integral of on left side, what we are getting dv, integral of t cube minus uh, 2t square plus 7, this is what dt. Now if we will integrate it, integration is also easy. Integral of dv is what? v then integral of t cube it becomes a t raised to 4 upon 4 minus integral of 2t square that means 2 into t cube by 3 plus 7 is a constant term that means what will get here 7 t and constant of integration c1 that means equation is in terms of v time t and constant of integration c1 as the data is given get t equal to some uh, one second velocity is given as the 3.48 meters per second that means if we we'll put that given condition in this equation put uh, at t equal to what one second velocity is given which is equal to 3.48 meters per second Velocity is known, a time is known, unknown term becomes C1, easily will get what? Constant of integration C1. If we we'll substitute V, this is 3.58 meters per second. T is what? 1 second, that becomes 1 raised to 4 upon 4 minus this one 2 by 3 into what? 1 cube. Next plus 7 into what? T. T is what? 1 plus C1. Using calculator, we will find out C1 value comes out to be minus 3. Once you will get C1, now you will get equation of velocity in terms of T1 because C1 you have calculated. Therefore, again I will write this equation of velocity substituting value of C1. So, what you will get here? V equal to T raised to 4 upon 4 minus uh, 2 by 3 into T cube plus uh, 7 into t and c1 is what minus 3 this is equation number 2 first equation is of acceleration second equation what we are getting is velocity now velocity is a function of time t therefore we will substitute velocity as what dx by dt 
if you substitute dx by dt on the right hand side equation remains as it is t raised to 4 upon 4 plus a minus a 2 by 3 t cube plus 7 t minus 3 that means dx equal to if I multiply by dt on right hand side it comes out to be what t raised to 4 upon 4 minus 2 by 3 a t cube plus 7 t minus 3 and this dt term I will write on right side. Now, if we will integrate this equation to what we will get next page will continue I will integrate this equation integrating above equation integral of dx equal to integral of t raised to 4 upon 4 minus 2 by 3 at t cube plus 70 minus 3 dt. Now, if we will integrate the what we will get integral of dx is what integral of dx comes out to be x equal to integral of t raised to 4 upon 4 that means integral of t raised to 4 is t raised to 5 divided by this 5 into already there is 4 in denominator minus 2 by 3 into integral of t cube becomes t raised to 4 upon 4 plus 7 into integral of t is what t square by 2 minus 3t and constant of integration c2. Now, this equation again if we will write here properly what we will get here x equal to t raised to 5 upon 5 into 4 is what 20 minus this 2 and 4 means here what we will get here 2, 2 into 3 is what 6 that means t raised to 4 upon 6 right plus this one is 7 by 2 uh, t square minus uh, 3t plus c2. Now, equation is in terms of x and t c2 is unknown is it possible to find out here c2 yes because at t equal to 0 a displacement is given that means if we we'll substitute in this equation or given condition put t equal to what one second what is given displacement that is nothing but x how much x is given x given is a 9.39 meters if we substitute in equation, we will get 9.39 equal to this is 1 raised to 5 divided by 20 minus 1 raised to 4 divided by 6 plus 7 by 2 into 1 square minus 3 into 1 and plus C2. Using calculator, we will find out C2 comes out to be 9. That means you are adding one more constant of integration. If you substitute this constant of integration in this equation of x, so you will get equation of position x equal to t raised to 5 upon 20 minus t raised to 4 upon 6 plus 7 by 2 into t square minus 3t plus c2. c2 is what? 9. This one equation is equation number 3. Now, what is asking problem at t equal to 2 second find out displacement, velocity and acceleration. Equations are ready. What we will do? Simply you have to substitute the values at t equal to 2 second. That means what we will do? We will substitute t equal to 2 seconds. In which equations? In equations 1, 2 and 3. 3 1 by 1 so that we will get what direct answer if we will substitute in first equation in first equation our equation of acceleration is given a where a is given as t cube minus 2t square plus 7 if I will put here value of t as 2 second we will get 2 cube minus 2 into 2 square plus 7 2 into 2 square means 2 cube, 2 cube minus 2 cube gets cancelled, what will you get here? Acceleration at 2 second I will write here is 7 meters per second square. 
That means this one is your first answer. Acceleration at t equal to 2 second. First answer. Similarly, in equation number 2, if we substitute or to look at velocity, equation of velocity is what? t raised to 4 upon 4 minus 2 by 3 t cube plus 70 minus 3. If we will put value of t as what? 2 second. We will get 2 raised to 4 upon 4 minus 2 by 3 into 2 cube plus 7 into what? 2 minus 3. This answer comes out to be, we will calculate using calculator 9.67 meters per second. Now we will find out displacement at 2 second. Displacement if you want to find out, displacement at any time instant if you want to find out, it is always final position minus initial position. What is asking problem at 2 second? That means displacement. In these two seconds, if you will find out, it is final position means at 2 second written as x2 minus initial position is x0. Always motion starts at 0 second. That means now to find out the displacement in 2 seconds, you have to find out two values. One is x2, other one is what? x0. Substituting t as 2 second, we will get x2. Substituting t equal to 0 second in equation of position, we will get x0. Once we will get both the values, we will subtract x0 from x2, we will get what? Displacement. That means, we will substitute now, put t equal to 2 seconds in equation of position. That means equation number 3. So, what we will get here? Position at 2 seconds. Our formula is what? x formula what you have calculated after integration is t raised to 5. That means can you substitute t as what? 2. So, 2 raised to power 5 divided by 20 minus and t raised to 4. That means 2 raised to 4 upon this one is 6 plus 7 by 2 t square. That means what? 2 square minus 3 into time t means 2 plus what? This is constant of integration, 9. That means x2, if you calculate here, using calculator, this answer comes out to be 15.93 meter. What it represent? Position at t equal to 2 second. Similarly, you have to find out x0. x0, if you want to find out, this x0 will substitute t as what? 0 second. Here, this one is value of t, right? Equation is available. 0 divided by what 20 that means first term becomes 0. Again here 0 raised to 4 upon 6 means this one also 0. This one becomes again 0. This uh, 3 into 2, 2 each time 3t. That means what this one is also 0. What answer we will get is what only constant of integration. That means x0 comes out to be 9 meters. Now to find out displacement, it is what final position minus initial position x2 minus x0 x2 is 15.93 meters x0 is 9 meter that means displacement written as delta x comes out to be 15 minus 9 means 6.93 meters this is your final answer that means you are getting what three answer acceleration at two second velocity at two second and displacement is 2 seconds. Thank you.